In Munich, Germany, for the fourth stop of the Red Bull X Fighters 2014, history is made once again with the first ever floating freestyle motocross course. Both the riders and the audience were completely pumped by the premiere in the sport built on the Olympic Lake in the capital of Bavaria. In an unexpected quarterfinal, local boy Luke Ackerman lined up against the reigning champ Thomas Pages. Luke attacked the course with a solid run and shows why he is the future of freestyle motocross. At just 17 years of age, he has found a groove he can definitely work with. Thomas, clearly feeling pressure of having to perform to stay in the hunt for a second title, made an uncharacteristic mistake on his spectacular bike flip, crashing from 10 meters. He was uninjured, but out of the competition early, opening the door for Ackerman's first ever appearance in an X Fighters semifinal. Luke definitely had the crowd on his side in his semifinal against Taka Higashino and performed admirably, however, was prone to what amounts to a case of the butterflies taking some of his jumps a bit too quickly. Higashino, on the other hand, is a vet and knew he needed to be clean and consistent in his run. He brought down the house, eliminating the young gun with fantastic tricks, including his California roll. Taka goes to the final. Thomas crashed, but I'm really sorry for him, but it's uh, not my mistake. But anyway, I made it in fourth position, so I'm really, really happy I trained so hard for it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was a great event. In semi number two, Josh Sheehan, knowing he was in tough against a strong Levi Sherwood, left nothing to spare. He brought all his big bangers, including the double backflip and a spectacularly stretched out double grab flip. The crowd loved it, and Sheeny loved it. Current tour leader Levi was now under immense pressure to perform, having watched Josh's run. Make no mistake, Levi can roll, and he brought everything he had to the table, including his new flaming mullet and an amazing up knack whip one hand, but the judges voted against him, and Josh goes to the final. The final battle would be of similar riding styles. Balls to the wall, anything goes. Taka Higashino rode a near flawless run, switching it up and being creative, putting the pressure on Sheehan. Once again, Sheehan stepped up to the plate and swung for a home run. This time there were no mistakes at all and his double flip was perfect. There was no one more stoked this weekend than Josh Sheehan from Australia, winning Munich and advancing within five points of Levi Sherwood in the overall standings. He even took a refreshing dip in the Olympic Lake to celebrate. It's amazing. I haven't had a win for a while and uh, to win in front of you guys has been amazing. Thank you so much. With one event left in South Africa, the race for the title is tightening up. See you on the 23rd of August in Pretoria.